interestingly enough, um, when you go beyond the building, when you, you go into maybe a, an eco district or a smart city, um, then you begin to talk about well, net zero districts, eco districts mm. or mm. Uh, communities. And I think that that's actually more viable over time is to get to that. There's um, more opportunities for exchanges. Yes. Um, not just in terms of you know, credits, but in terms of actual, um, you know, my waste becomes your uh, energy source or yes. my waste becomes your material input yeah, or exactly. symbiotic, kind of symbiotic relationships. relationships. Yeah, and there's more of that happening really in Europe and in little niches, but it's fascinating, great stuff. Um, and so I'm very, very interested in how we bring more of that to, you know, how it be, we go from sort of case study, proof of concepts, pilots, even economically viable projects, um, but, but it, on a, not enough of them and to scale to this is becomes business as usual. Right. So, right. Um, I think that's extremely important because we can, we know we can create these buildings today. We, I believe we can create and we have examples of, of, of sort of eco districts as well, residential or, or, or commercial. Um, there are fewer and far between, I think. Um, so what we really need to be able to do is, is take those best cases, those best practices and find a way to, change the way business as usual so this becomes a new um, you know kind of a new better way to build buildings to manage buildings to um, manage cities